Hello, my name is Zin Pang, and today uh, my roommates helped me to finish this, this video about some introduction about the structure and electrochemical uh, uh, properties of the mesoporous the carbon. And uh, from the start, uh, we will follow the structure of our background, produced a precise application, recent research, and the summary. And this page picture is all about the mesoporous, uh, some detail, uh, some uh, application, and you can see it's like a black carbon. And from the background, I will introduce what is the mesopore. And all, uh, first is the introduction. All of we know the active carbon. Active carbon is really important in our daily life uh, to absorb the OU or even sometimes uh, we can absorb it of uh, purified water to use some different kind of things in that. So active carbon and its, its effect is worldwide used today. And the mesopore carbon is one kind of the active car, car, carbon. So how to divide it from the three different classifications? Uh, if it under the two nanometers is the micro uh, pore uh, carbon and if upper than the uh, 50 nanometers is the macro pore uh, carbon so between it is the mesopore uh, carbon and some even kinds of uh, classified into the sub and the normal one but we will just talk this three uh, classifications that's enough and Next one is the background about application of the mesopore carbon materials. So what kind of applications do you want to use? Water purification, biotechnic usage, carry on, on separations, or electric double layer capacities. They are really good to use in our daily life. And next is about the properties. The mesoporous carbon have really good properties. One is about the pore size because you can change it if you want to from the long to a short, from the large to small. And one more thing is the electricity uh, conductivity because uh, it gets a really good uh, carbon uh, properties. So it can get really good conductivities during you use it. And even you don't care the electricity conductivity uh, it still get the good corrosion resistance which can use a really high temperature or really chemical corrosion uh, conditions and one more is the large surface areas because it get several pores between the, uh, the carbon so you can see that uh, it enlarged the surface areas and might make it uh, attached with the solution or attached with the carrier much more and contain it to be the catalyst the carrier or other kind of things the last is a net toxic in creature body. This is really important using in the biochemistry because as we all know that, yes, uh, you can see that uh, some of the batteries, especially the cardiac the, uh, pacemakers, they use the batteries with re, uh, heavy metals or sometimes use PB uh, to uh, make the electricity to keep it working. But if we use this one and use ironic liter uh, batteries, it will get more the uh, health and more the non toxicant to help the patients get good treatment. Next one, please. And from this, you can see a lot of history about the <coughs> mesoporous carbon discovered. The first is the Malbuka company discovered the mesoporous carbon in 1992, and Updike in the SBA1 was discovered in 1998 by the Dr. John, uh, although I don't know the name, and from the 1999 to 2002, used the CMK135 as their template, got more regular result by the Aroy in the Korea, which is really good and impressive things that they make some the invention in this process. And now there's different kind of usage in our daily life, and we find it is really uh, normal and you can see it uh, as we walked everywhere. You can see even this this one the table is still use the carbon to make it Next one, please and The produce the precise the from the produce the precise I have to say something that uh, It divided me into two methods. One is the traditional method and the picture you can see but it's not very clearly. Okay, 
Uh, I can explain it for you. Just uh, put the clay enter the uh, the temperature and uh, bake it and the air and all of these things is divided by template and the porous carbon. Use the solid Y template for the microporous carbon and make it uh, to shape make as the template to uh, shape it into the the mesopore carbons. And one more thing is the molten method one. Uh, the traditional one, the traditional method di different. Like some is the chemical, some is the physics, and some even use a water solution. But the molten method just use the automatic uh, reactions, which is more better than the nowadays things. And I really recommend this one because this one. Let me see that uh, we can use the no more use the template. But use it as it uh, enlarges cells to make uh, form the mass of poured carbons. Next, please. And the third one is about the applications. There is the three new ideas. There's many talked in my literature reviews. Is the first one is use it in the biological materials. As I mentioned, that the cardiac pacemakers use a lot of heavy metals to make uh, the battery. But if we Changed. We use the uh, metal powered carbon to be the anode of the uh, battery in the pace, uh, cardiac pacemaker. That will change a lot because you, you can see that it's a, a lot of elderly men. They still use the old um, heavy metal things, but they didn't get good treatment. In even they get the security from the society. But actually, we can make it precise and change it a lot. And still, I heard some person use the automatic clock uh, mechanic to instead of the old battery. I think it's a kind of uh, uh, developed and it will become true one day. Another thing is the electric double layer cap C, maybe which is EDLC, can be improved more better. Why I say like this? Because uh, although the nowadays the electricity double layer uh, cap C is become the more and better and better. But actually, it still get some small mistakes, such as um, it will uh, release the electricity sometimes and it will hurt persons. And I think we can control these problems by add some the, uh, metro uh, batteries. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, use some electric batteries to, to resist it and let it to, to, uh, resorb the electricity from the relief things and it will make it more improved into the better place. And the last thing is the water purification. As we know that uh, the uh, mesopore, the carbon, can absorb a lot of things such as the oil, such as the petrol. You still heard that uh, in the Saudi Arabia, there is a lot of the pollution with the oil things, or petrol things, yes. So uh, that is a good way to make it more better and even sometimes we use the tape uh, although i know in australia the tape can drink directly but uh you know that in australia they still use the some other ways like the chlorine or use the artificial uh, bleach uh this is not good or use the ozone and I think the although it's really expensive, use the metal carbon, but it's more better uh, to treat the water and let me drink it safety. Next, please. And the last part is about recent research and the summaries. Um, although I, I, you can you cannot clearly see what is here, but I can explain that uh, there is several methods to use all of the uh, metal carbons. And as the technology breaks through, there are more and more uh, possibilities for the mesoporous carbon to be used. And uh, we should use this high -time technology materials to, to uh, improve our daily lives and use it to do more, much more things than we can expect it. And next, please. Thank you for your attention. And there is a funny question about this. Can you list the five porous carbon subject in your daily life? You can think about it and you can get an email with me and my email is zp478 at uwmail.edu.au. Thank you for watching.